This is Eric at PowerBookMedic.com. We're going to be taking apart the new iPad 3. Probably not going to be needing this. Okay, we're going to start by going along this edge here. This is where the digitizer is going to plug in, and it's going to be the least amount of adhesive holding it in. So, um, one of the tools you may need for this will be the suction cup and possibly a heat gun, and of course your iPad opening tool. Now, what we'll start here is kind of get it up underneath and, you know, just kind of go along this edge here. And you'll also probably want a second one to go around the other corner just to alleviate some of the tension on the glass. And there's definitely a lot more adhesive on this one than in the first iPad, so it's very difficult to get off without breaking it. that the if it's anything like the iPad 2 this is where the Wi-Fi antenna is going to be so it's best to kind of lightly go around that area just go around the edge and we'll leave it there and start going up this side now you don't want to go too flat because you'll cut the rubber trim around the edge and you don't want to angle it too this way up because you'll start peeling the paint off the side of the glass. So go up along this side here. Around the corner. And just gently angle your iPad opening tool up a little bit just to kind of pull it up before you slide it in underneath the glass. Again, this is very difficult to get off without breaking it, and I'm going to try my best to not do so. And this is a part you probably want to watch out for too, is the camera. If you go too deep, you can nick one of the chips on the outside of it, and it will ruin your iPad. iPad. Almost up. It's probably going to make a few crunching noises like that, but it's usually just the adhesive coming up and there's no cracks on it just yet. Try to go on the side here. through We're just going to keep going this side a little bit just to see if we can loosen up that adhesive. And my tools are scalding hot now.
points than I get. Just gently lift up off to the side. Should be the way that the cable goes. And it should come out. Again, there's the Wi Fi antenna. Um, it looks like it was torn a little bit when taking it off, but it should still be functioning. There's usually a couple of screws that kind of keep it held down, but if that's torn, it's usually okay, and it keeps it, you know, it'll still stay functioning. So, and there it is. There's the glass on there. Of course, there's your home button assembly up in here, and everything like that. So it's usually just a, it's a little switch that connects to these pins down on the bottom here. Next, we will need the screwdriver. Of course, you know there's the camera, and it looks like they protected the the home or the lock button and the flex cable and volume buttons and everything up here. I know that was a, a pain in the previous iPad because it was adhered almost to the glass, and whenever it was removed, it would tear and add on another 45 minutes to your repair time trying to replace it. We'll go around the edges up here. Looks like those are the screws that hold the LCD in. And they lift up. And this is the that new high res LCD that Apple just put into it. Looks like there's just a cl uh, clip up here. the LCD and the LVDS cable. It's completely different from the iPad 2 so don't try to put iPad 2 parts into this one because they won't work. And this looks like the cable to the digitizer here held in. It's changed around just a little bit as well. And it's adhered in there so and it's very thin so that's very easily torn I'm going to try to get it out without tearing it so there it is and there's your digitizer panel here next there's the dock connector which will be down here which connects into the logic board that's the logic board this will go to your looks like the lock button and everything up there kind of goes around and of course your battery which we will remove the logic board and show you how the battery is attached to it Next, we'll probably need to remove this tape over here and expose all the connectors that go onto the logic board. So like that goes to your looks like the Wi-Fi antenna. And these will go to your dock connector. There's another screw hidden underneath that. And we'll unplug this. And again, there's a lot of adhesive on this and a lot of tiny thin cables, so it's definitely a lot trickier than the iPad 2, that's for sure. And there's your logic board. It just screws down onto the battery, which is here. And for the purposes of the or the purpose of this take apart. We won't go and take the battery off just because of the difficulty of it and the amount of adhesive, adhesive holding it in there. Um, so we're going to leave it at this. Um, of course, there's all of your cables going up to here. And that's basically about it. Is that good?